you can half tell it's only about an hour before embarkation of the ship because no one's around because everyone like panics a bit and I've got me rosemary and almond bakewell and there we go guys we are leaving the land and the seagulls are trying to get us <sighs> what a lovely day welcome back guys to a brand new vlog we have been exploring this gorgeous island called Sis Island just off the coast of Vigo and if you would like to see what we got up to on this island make sure you go back and watch the previous vlog to this one but you're now joining us as we board the ferry and sail back to Pianos Ventura welcome back to a brand new vlog sitting down on the boat. We're not just talking about little food, we're talking about quite a lot of different types of food. It's absolutely great, you get free water, you've got free vino. Amazing! It's too good not to eat. Amazing. It's like, it's just so soft and tender. You know how I said these earlier, you just have to come on this excursion. Now you really need to come on this excursion. Now we go, we're back in Vigo. I was gonna say Porto. <laughs> we're back in Vigo, there's my ship. That was brilliant, that was really good. That food, man, was so good. Obviously no good for Con, because he's veggie. And he's a veggie, but he's like the worst type of veggie. He's a picky eater. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we're, uh, we're actually gonna head into one of the big buildings here now. Um, I've actually left my MacBook charger at home, so I need to edit while I'm away because we've got vlogs going out for Disney um, and I can't edit. Con obviously wants to look for food and then we'll probably get back on the ship later. I don't know where my family are by the way. My family aren't doing any excursions with us. They've just decided to explore themselves, which is always a brilliant option if you, you know, you want to do that. And I think this is the way in and basically this is meant to be like an indoor shopping centre. Oh well, we've got like a pizzeria there. There we go, this looks like the store for silly people like me that leaves their laptop chargers at home. <laughs> We're gonna have a little look around Vigo. And the best thing is, is we've only got an hour till we have to get back on the ship. But the ship is only just there. So we shouldn't, we shouldn't get lost. You can tell though that it is only about an hour. Oh my God, Captain Jack Sparrow. Ooh, Captain Jack Sparrow's up there, sorry. And then there's like a, there's a curve in the ground and then he just fell over. Yeah, Captain Jack Sparrow's up there. You can half tell it's only about an hour before embarkation of the ship because no one's around because everyone like panics a bit about missing the ship. Um, to be honest, Con, I'm shocked that you're not wanting to get on. Right, and we're actually going to get back on the ship now because Con's hungry. We've, um, we've actually struggled at the moment for food for Con. He's uh, veggie options have been quite limited. We'll, um, at the end of this series, I will do like a full breakdown because obviously for me, I'll eat anything, but Con's a veggie, but he's, he does, he's a veggie that doesn't like veg. So it's a bit harder for him. So we'll talk through it at the end of the series. And here we go. It's good to get off the ship and explore your port, but it's all was nice that moment when you know you're getting back onto your lovely home from home <sighs> I love cruising there we go guys we are leaving the land and the seagulls are trying to get us <sighs> what a lovely day in Vigo so nice, so nice. Just been chatting to the family there. They've had a brilliant day as well. We're all having dinner at 6.30. So yeah, that's good. That's gonna be nice. It just you know when you just have a lovely day and like everything just falls into place. Like I wasn't not I wasn't really that excited about coming to Vigo. I am um, I just wasn't didn't really know what to expect and it's just been it's just been the complete opposite. And there's Seas Island where we were earlier in this vlog. I love that bloody island. It was so nice. And we're doing we're moving quite fast actually. The next port we're heading to is Lisbon. And I'm so excited for Lisbon because I've never been before. And then you know you're living your best life when you've got a brew. What are you looking at us for? Stop judging us. He's judging us, guys. I love me cuppas. I do love a cup. I must say, mine. It is nice to have a cuppa. Oh, God. It's bright. It is nice to have a, it is nice to have a cuppa on your balcony. 
It's going to uh, share this with you as well because um, I got a, an Instagram message about this the other day and I didn't realise this was an option on these TVs because I thought with them being so old it wouldn't have it but Con mentioned this to me and they do. They do have a very, lim and I will say it's very limited and small on demand section on the cruise. Now I don't know how regularly they change them so like the reason why I'm saying very limited and, and whatever is because on Iona and Avia it's literally like having Netflix in you, like on your TV. There's options upon options upon options, and then you've also got the option to, um, I think it's like you can air tag it or airdrop to the TV. I didn't know how to do it. I think you have to have a Samsung or something. Someone told me how to do it, but I just, yeah, I can never work it out. But anyway, with these, they do have a limited, so like this is the action section, there's four movies. They've got a drama section, then they've got a, a comedy section. So it's like four movies per per thing, like the family section, like the family section, you know, cheaper by the dozen, but it's not like the original. Uh, sorry, it's not the newer ones, it's like the one from God knows when. Documentary, and then you've got horror. Con says we need to watch Marabone. I've, I've never seen that. I did like the movie Antlers though. And there was like a few times on like the last cruise, maybe not this one so much, but there was a few days where I just lay in bed and especially like during the day in the Caribbean when it was like beaming hot and just chilled and watched movies and there's nothing wrong with doing that. Well, I don't think there's anyway. <laughs> Some people might disagree, but I don't think there's anything wrong. It's just nice, you know, just to have that option. Remember, you've got free, room. well, it's not free room service. You've got to pay for the room service, but you do have free breakfast. So, you know, TV in bed and chill. Sounds like a plan to me, I tell you. It sounds like a plan to me right now because I'm absolutely knackered. We'll actually see what's in the horizon today as well. So it's Monday the 24th of April. We arrived 9.30, all aboard 4.45. Just pause the video, by the way, if you want to see anything. Obviously, it can change from day to day. Oh, actually, do they have a spa deal? <gasps> they do have a spa deal. £119. Oh, oh my God. Can't, should we go for full body massages tonight? Now that sounds nice, doesn't it? Full body massage. Treat yourself. That's what P&O say. No, yeah, so just pause the video at any point if you want to see these horizons. I don't know how well you can see them. I'm, I'm clicking the screen to see if it can focus. I am just want to see what's on tonight for us. We don't, I can't really see us personally going out late tonight because me and Con are both absolutely knackered. It is one of the things when you're back to back, waking up early, going to bed late, up early, back to bed late, it does tire out. I am just concerned that this is only like port one and we've got like four ports. <laughs> we really need to get better at this. <laughs> Captain said we've actually got 260 something or 270 nautical miles to travel. So it's quite a way we're gonna be traveling. Oh, bye Vigo. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm just glad I'm, I've got the name right because I'm sure in some part of these vlogs, maybe I, maybe I didn't, I don't know, but in some parts I think I definitely called a portal. Not, not on purpose. <laughs> you can see in the waves of the water down there as well, you can see where we've turned a little. Oh, I love cruising. Like, why wouldn't you? Look at that, man. Look at, look at the lovely sun. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. We're running late again. <laughs> that is us every night. Every night we're running late. I don't know what's going on, but it's 25 past. The table's there for half six. Are you ready, Mr. Connor? Yeah. We need to get down to the restaurant quickly. Because <laughs> the family will be sitting there waiting like they pretty much have been every night. good we're actually gonna head all the way up to the top of the ship right now and go to the metropolis never been there on the ship to be honest this has been <laughs> I feel like I feel like I've barely seen the ship so we're gonna head all the way at the top which is the aft of the ship and uh, have a few drinks I think and we have arrived in the metropolitan restaurant oh it is absolutely dreamy in here it reminds me a lot of the crow's nest on Avia and Iona gorgeous the difference with this one though is the crow's nest is at the front of the ship on the other ships this is all the way at the aft of the ship all the way at the back look at this man where on else on earth would you get views like this to be honest guys i'm actually hovering over the side of the ship <laughs> but you know what i mean 
You need to come to this place. You do need, you need to come to this bar. It's gorgeous, man. And I've got me rosemary and almond bakewell. Oh, mocktail, because I don't drink. Amazing, 350. So as I've mentioned before, I'm on the child's drink, kids drinks package, which I'll do like a full review of at the end of the series, um, which I am able to get. Adults are able to get the child's drinks package. So just, just for, because a lot of people don't know that. I didn't know that until Emma told me, Emma Cruises, Emma, you're a legend. Um, so yeah, I had to pay for this £3.50, but it's it's worth every penny, it's so good. We were hoping that from the metropolis, you would see the sunset, but there's clouds in the way, unfortunately. But I don't know if like you can feel, well, you won't be able to feel this, because obviously you aren't here, but there's no wind. Like, obviously the wind must be like on the other side, if like around that corner, but it's so smooth. Look at that. I'm loving Ventura. Absolutely loving Ventura, man. Tiny little bit late. I don't know how well you can see me, it is pitch black. And you'll be happy to know the pool that leaked a couple of days ago where they had the issue, it's now got water in it. We're at like the main pool, we're at where the pool side, pool side grill is. The pizza place is just over there where you can grab some pizzas. I know you have not seen us get them yet. We have actually been getting them off vlog. But yeah, it's back filled, guys. It looks like a really nice pool as well. Let's uh, let's do a water test feel. You can see, is it cold, Ruby? Is it warm, cold? Okay. Uh, no, it's not that cold. But... Oh my God, it's like calm down. I kid you not, for the last 10 minutes, it's been going back and forth. And it's actually fine now. Or well, maybe not. Maybe we're gonna hit a wave. Hit a wave, please, ship. <laughs> it is interesting just watching how the water goes. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Oh, here we go, we've hit a wave. And then it's gonna come this way now, here we go. Yeah. Oh. Oh no, it's not come far enough. It's dead interesting watching it though, isn't it? Yeah. It is really dark at night as well, so I don't, expect you to be able to see where we are but w literally down here obviously like I said you've got that pool you've got the pizza you've got the pool bar grill but then up on the next floor you do have this bar oh there's Nana Nana's here and <laughs> um, well there's Nana but no 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 one else I don't know where everyone else is you've actually got a bar here as well and um, this is the smokers area as well so if you are going to be on board and you want to smoke this is where it's going to be now we're all the way at the back are we at the back of the ship yes we are at the back of the ship we're going into the arena and we're actually going to see the show Hot Ticket. I've heard that it's meant to be really good. It's two shows a night. Well, there's two shows tonight. One's at 8.30 and one's at 10.30. We're actually going to the 10.30 one. Believe it or not, we tried to go to the 8.30 one and it was sold out from 8 o'clock. Just recommend, just a little bit of a tip for you guys, if you do want to go and see these shows, try and get there at least 30 to 40 minutes before because they do sell out quick. Here we go. Should we uh, jump in these seats, guys? Just jump in five. Should we sit? We'll sit at the end because your dad mentioned you want to. You want to sit at the end. I'll sit here. He is excited for the show. No. Ruby said that if it's boring, what are you gonna do? I'd rather sit with Nana on the smoke deck. <laughs> <laughs> venue is so impressive it's across two tiers so you it's you can enter on floor six or floor seven and um, this is definitely one of the best theaters I've seen at sea I just want to jump in and just explain a few three a few things from the last vlog that you've watched because I've been editing it and I don't think I explained two of the main key things that happened in this episode. So I thought it would be important for me to jump in from you know seven months later because this vlog was recorded seven months ago and just chat about some of the things that happened in this vlog. One of the main things that I did not explain, right? <laughs> And I don't even think me and Con told our family, right, because we were just such in, like, in, in a rush. We almost missed the cruise ship. 
And let me tell you why, right? And this is something I highly recommend when you're going on holiday, you make sure you check, right? And that is the time difference. I can't remember if it was an hour ahead or the same time, but basically me and Connor all the way around were like, oh, it's all right, we've got ages, we've got ages. I think we thought we were an hour ahead or something like that, or we're on time. We, we didn't think that we were gonna miss the ship. And then literally we're walking around and then we see someone running towards the ship and they're like, oh, we're, we're, we're close to missing the ship. So I was like, oh, hang on, come there, running, they're running back. And I don't know if you realised, when we were getting back on that ship, there was about six or seven people. And that is because the ship was due to set sail about 10 minutes later. So what I'm going to suggest to you is, right, so this never happens to you. And trust me, you do not want this to happen to you, is make sure when you're going away that you check the uh, the departure time and then maybe give yourself, I always say the one hour rule and it's so annoying that I did not follow that rule myself, but I always say the one hour rule because if you if you get back on the ship an hour before set sail, you know you're gonna be fine. And I always think worst case scenario, what about what happens if you're in the middle of the city and you need to get a taxi back? Well, if you've got an hour to get back, then that's much better than you've got 30 minutes and you're sitting in the car panicking. You know what I mean? So yeah. I just, because we were so close to the ship, because Vigo is mega close, I thought there's no way we're going to miss this, but we nearly did. So yeah, just, <laughs> just when you are going on a cruise, give yourself an hour, all right? Just before I shoot it as well, I just want to chat about drinks packages, because I've had a lot of DMs, a lot of people have commented on this about the kids' drinks package. And as you know, I mention it quite a bit in this vlog as well. So it's it's a strange one, right? I didn't know anything about the drinks package, like the, the one I was able to get. All prior cruises, I was on Arvia in January around the Caribbean. I got the soft drinks package. Um, any other cruise that I've done, the one that I did with Con, just prior to that, I got the soft drinks. In fact, actually, we didn't even get a drinks package for that cruise. We just done pay as you go. And this was the first cruise I got the kids' drinks package. And all me and Con did is we went in the restaurant and said, could we have the kids' drinks package? And the staff were like, yeah, that's fine. We paid for it and it was like $7.99 a day, but I get like 7.5% discount um, because I'm, I'm a regular cruiser on P&O. Oh, I like that, regular cruiser. <laughs> so I then, I, then I get a further discount, so awesome. Now, a few, I've had a few DMs recently and people are saying the cruise packages have now changed. Now, yes, I am fully aware the drinks packages have changed. And unfortunately, until I get back on P&O, um, I don't really know. But my friends recently sailed and we met up with them in the Trafford Centre a couple of weeks ago. Um, and they, they told me that they weren't able to get that. They had to get the drinks package up, which is the drinks package that I used to get, was, which was the 1995 one. And I believe p and have changed all the names. So if you have an update in regards to name changes and things like that, then please put it in the comments. If it can help other cruisers, then that's great. When I am able to sail again, we have booked Britannia. Well, we haven't actually booked it. We're booking it tomorrow. I think that's the plan. I think we're booking it tomorrow. Um, not for next year though, for 2025. So it's ages away. Um, but we do, uh, our family, so this is for the full family, our little family, Mekon and uh, our little boy, we do have a cruise next year but it's not with P&O. So, <laughs> sorry, this is a whole long, a long trying to explain something here. Um, but when I do finally get back on P&O, we will find out what the deets are and why that's happening because it is a strange one. And, and I am fully aware that they have changed the drinks packages and they literally changed them once we got off the ship. Um, so it would have been nice if they had a change maybe a week before we got on, so then I would have had more up-to-date information. Um, but from what I gather, people are still able to grab the soda drinks package. Um, I just, I don't, it's a strange one. I, I get this all the time. Why did they call it the kids drinks package, but then adults can buy it? That's a question you need to ask P&O. I could not tell you, and this is the reason why I never got it. Because I don't understand why a company would call it the kids drinks package but then adults could buy it. It doesn't make an ounce of sense. I totally agree with you, but I didn't make the rules up. <laughs> so, so yeah, it's a strange one. But once I finally get back on P&O, I will find out. But if any of you guys now know the info, 
stick it below. And in the meantime, um, we do we have about five vlogs left of this series. Once the series finishes, we are gonna go. We're gonna do. I'm gonna do two videos. Uh, know before you go, sort of thing of Aventura, and then would I see Aventura again? Um, Cause yeah, at the moment everything in this series is going very well, the that you're seeing. But the series does take a little bit of a turn soon, and you will see that. So yeah, it'll be interesting once you do, because things do start to change. So, so yeah. Anyway, I'm not going to say any more because I don't want to ruin anything for anyone. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you haven't clicked subscribe, hit that subscribe button. And um, I just want to say a huge thank you to my Patreon members. Patreon members get access to early vlogs and things like that. We are now currently doing live streams on a Friday that are hit and miss sometimes. We, I am going to be live this Friday. If you'd be interested, make sure you come join us. You'd be more than welcome. And yeah, I will see you in the next vlog, guys, which will be on Thursday. Thank you so much, guys. Enjoy what you're doing, and I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye, guys. Bye. And you can actually see Jesus from here. He's got onto a tuk-tuk, and they're all sitting in. Oh, and we're actually going to go around the highlights of Lisbon. We have been set to visit, does this? This is, your, this is your big moment. Amazing. Alright. Get yourselves to the kebab shop, guys. <laughs>